what's up guys welcome back to the channel can you guess what today is yeah today is harvest day number one if we can get started uh come a little light light rain shower here this morning just for a few minutes but as you can see we've got everything down here including a big old pile of chicken poop but uh we're down here in Alabama. This is the NCGA entry. I'm gonna get to try to get the end shelled off of it and get it prepped. I've got another one right down the road right down here. We're gonna get the end shelled off it and get it prepped. And I've got one more back here in the back next to the creek. We're gonna get the end shelled off it and get it prepped. And uh, hopefully we can get a judge up here one day this week and uh, get, them, get them done and get them entered but uh that's why we started down here the corn is still about 20 percent moisture uh give and take all the humidity that's in the air right now i'd say it's probably 22 23 but uh me and tom are going to slowly go along at it uh i talked to woodall grain he said he needs 4,000 bushels to start his dryer so we should have no trouble getting him 4,000 bushels so um that's what we're going to do uh, we're going. We're just going to take our time, try to get some of these NCGA plots out of the way while we're waiting on some of this other corn to dry down. Because I don't have a dryer, so I'm at the mercy of Mother Nature. We just haven't got that far into our grain setup yet. Uh, that's future plans, believe me. But me and Tommy went up to the granary this morning and we uh, labeled everything, open and close and all that stuff cleaned all the bins out made sure all that was prepped uh got the door locks changed got the padlocks on the power boxes just got it all ready while we was waiting on things to dry off some but uh we're sitting here waiting on the computer to load now and and we'll get underway so this is what y'all been waiting for all year y'all want to see the yield monitor so here it comes y'all better go pop you some popcorn and let's get this video started
Hit it with a combine. hillside. We ain't even got down there to the bottom yet. And I just got through calibrating Rio monitor and it is dead on. So, no questions there. But, and I should have been showing you all year how to grow 300 bushels of corn. working for all year long right here. It took a, took a little bit to get the kinks out of the combine. We had a, some bolts back out of a barrier. And uh, I forgot a GPS cable too. That's on me. But we're in no hurry. We just want to shell a few little bit. The layoff is in CGA plaza down here. Uh, so we can get going. That's a, those plots take a lot of time and uh, we want to get going with them. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, I didn't do a closeout video last night. Uh, camera kept fogging up. There's so much humidity. So I'm going to let the, fill you in on what we got going on today and what happened yesterday evening. We shelled three or four loads yesterday. Corn is really, really good. Uh, we set this up for an NCGA plot. And that's why you see how we shaved a bunch off. I mean, we went around and we just shaved off everything. Pretty much got the heart left. Uh, we got another NCGA plot right down the road right here. We're going to go down here. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to shave everything off that we don't want and uh, get it prepped. And then we've got another one right down the road here. Just a little ways. We're going to shave everything off of it and get it prepped. But the corn is really really good it's better than i thought it was gonna be uh it's it's hovering right around 300 uh, i think the field average right now is like 280 something 
but uh, it, it's 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 just remarkably good for as much heat as it went through than during the middle of June. All right, wire in the way. We're gonna try to get these plots laid off. Uh, Luke said he might come this afternoon, and uh, we might try to lay it off just a little bit tighter, a little bit better. I play it a little bit safe, uh, but we'll actually walk it, and that way we'll know where the best is, and um, that way we can go in there and get it. But it is already hot and humid. Yeah, Tommy's over here already drinking, and I'm already sweating. But it is hot, it is humid. The corn's running about 20%, and uh, that's why we're in no hurry. But, but I got one thing though, boss. We like to speak up. I'm coming close. Since today's my birthday, my my one wish is everybody go to our store and get you a Tommy shirt. There you go. You heard him. Today's his birthday. So y'all wish Tommy a happy birthday. Go to the merch store, get you a Tommy shirt. Every farm needs a Tommy. But yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of what we got going on today. It's just, we're going to try to walk through these plots while the corn moisture's high. And I know a lot of y'all asked about why we're, I'm talking to my grainer. I don't have a dryer, guys. I don't have, a, I, about 18% is all I can handle and dry it down with heated fans. And we're at 20, so. Uh, but we've got to get started. Uh, we've got too many hurricanes threatening. And, uh. One of these bad boys come through here, and I'm telling you to blow her on the ground. But it smells like crap right here, and I'm tired of smelling it. So we're going to get moved down the road here and get ready to shell some more corn. Hello everybody, welcome to the show. We're right here in the field today, we're trying to shell some corn, trying to wash the clouds. Um, a couple little small little light showers, not enough to really hurt anything or to slow us down. Just enough for an aggravation, but they're saying we could see some storms later on this afternoon. So we're going to do everything we can to try to get ahead of schedule here. Um, just trying to show everybody a little a few things uh, as you can see in the videos before they're going to show uh, combine going through after we've rebuilt the heads completely on it does great doing an excellent job out here so but right now we've got a kind of a mixture of sun and cloud um, be nice and comfortable and great outside enjoyable and then the sun comes back out and that hum the humidity just intensifies 
But like I said, like we was talking about this morning when Bob's done the opening of the show, uh, today is my birthday. I turned 52 today, and my birthday wish is for everyone to go to the merch store, get you an Every Farm Needs Tommy. I want to I want to see a picture and where you're located at. We want to kind of have a good eye, general idea of where all of our viewers are. It makes it more interesting for us so we know where we're reaching and how, where we're getting out to. So that's that's my wish. So, but I hope everybody has a great afternoon. Uh, get back here. He'll be back to drop a load on top of mine on uh, my grain cart here in just a minute. And then he'll make a couple more passes and we'll have another trailer load. So y'all just stay tuned. We'll be back.
big bottom today. We about got it. There's a little bit left in the bottom. I got it set up for a contest entry. Just in case one of these other two fails. Uh, we went and moved on down the road to the next farm. We're gonna set that one up, get it ready, and I reckon the judge is coming Friday to judge it. Uh, that way we can knock out both of them with one pop. But uh, we're gonna get tarped up here get to the house and maybe just maybe i'm gonna have a truck driver here by the end of the week i gotta meet with one tomorrow night seven o'clock and i do know the guy and i do know he's reliable so if we can get him that's gonna be a big big plus but This corn right here, this is this is the corn that had the hail damage on it. And as far as I can tell, it's off about 30 bushel compared to what we were shelling yesterday. But uh man, there's nothing you can do about it. I mean it is what it is. It's just a freak storm come through here at the wrong time and got it. This is decaf 6744 that we are shelling. Uh, like I said, pretty good corn. I mean, it's making 250 bushel, even though it had hail damage. But that down there was making 275, 280, upper 300s. Yeah. You know. Well, we should have us enough air built up. Let's get to the house, what do you say? I'm hungry. Two of corn harvest. 
everything's running pretty smooth something may fly off and hit us at any moment but, uh i promise there's gonna be a lot of harvest videos coming large yield monitors showing a lot of corn flying everywhere and uh me and tommy appreciate all y'all watching don't forget about precisionplanning.com don't forget about nutrient and our good folks over at decap but we're gonna get in here in the house see if we can't find us about a supper get us some rest before we can do it all over again tomorrow but uh appreciate all y'all watching like i said before don't forget to like share subscribe all that good stuff and don't forget guys when we hit 5,000 subscribers there will be a bunch of free hats thrown out i got several cases in here in the house that we'll be giving away but uh don't forget about my merch store don't forget about the tommy shirts i'll put the link in the description and uh well i guess that's all we'll see you in the next one